It is a fusion of art and music, and it is a family affair. Well, joining us now, Michael and Jonathan Allman. Thanks so much for being here. Jonathan is a drummer here in the area. Michael, your, your brother, is a sculptor. And you guys have been artists from a very young age, but you've each grown into these different mediums. So tell us how you got into sculpting, and Jonathan, how you got into drumming. Well, both our parents are artists, so mm -hmm. we've definitely followed in their footsteps, and they've you know, helped us along and supported us in very many different avenues of art. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a great upbringing. I, I just love the fact that, you know, we get to be able to do art mm. with our parents, and it's just, it's really cool. And he sort of followed in my dad's footsteps of being found object sculptor, and I went far right, went <laughs> the music direction. Um, so explain what you guys do together as, as a partnership. What's happening here? So I, I play music, and I have a bunch of sort of broken symbols that sort of have you know, seen their, their end of life, you know, over the years. And I thought, you know, this would be cool to repurpose them and get, sort of give them a new life. And that sort of falls in his world, which is taking found objects that were, you know, once used for, you know, some need and then sort of giving them new life into a form of sculpture. So we started a project where we sort of changed what this, it started with symbols and um, it sort of changed the direction and became, you know, useful in new, a new aspect. Still musical, but has more of an aesthetic Yeah, and you, you brought one of the symbols here. Can you show us this? Sure. This, so, this is one of your, you know, broken symbol, and you took this and, and yeah. created art from it. He said he wanted, like, a shattered look. So we, we looked online to see what, what happens when a piece of glass That's actually so cool. shatters. Mm. And then we made these little jump rings and put it back together and the sound is like I was a little bit nervous about how the sound would relay but it's like it actually came out pretty pretty amazing. So yeah. who is this for? Like who are the people that you you would target this for? Yeah, so I work with a producer who goes by the name of the Archetype out of Boston and so he's always making beats and he's always looking in the computer for certain sounds and he came to me and he's like I don't like these sounds. Everything's clean. Everything's too clean. I want dirty, raw, lo-fi sounds. And I was like, well, me and my brother are working on this project where we're yeah. kind of repurposing symbols. He said, come on, bring it into the studio. We recorded and he goes, I need you guys to make a lot more of these. And we ended up making a bunch more snare drums, other things. I would bring in rusty saw blades and we used everything from my brother's studio. And we just started making a drum pack and then started showing clips of it online and people were like reaching out like, where, where can I get these right, sounds? That's 25 million views. Yeah, from that. That, sounds that, that symbol alone had, yeah, 20 million views. That's unbelievable. Uh, An artist can now take this and use it in their music. And yeah. uh, my understanding is that you had some involvement in Mad Max as well. Yeah. Tell got, us about that. I got this amazing opportunity, just a message on the answering machine that was like, would you like to come down to Australia and work on Mad Max 4? <laughs> and I was just blown okay, away. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, uh -huh. my yeah. goodness. So, amazing, amazing opportunity. And I ended up making the flamethrowing guitar for the movie, which oh, was wow. just so cool. And me and George Miller, we, he was the director, we just sat down and he's like, I'll give you three stipulations. It has to be an, an evil-looking weapon. It has to throw a 50-foot flame, and it has to have two necks on it. And oh I was like, gosh. let's go. It I was, love that you guys amazing. have two different areas of expertise. You're coming together and doing a whole new thing and, and I don't know, hopefully getting pretty successful at it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty creative. Thank you, thank fun. you. It's so fun. And uh, not killing each other, being no, brothers, working together, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it's been great yeah. coming back, you know, sort of like being brothers and then kind of coming into this creative outlet together and using it for something different. Yeah. It's so cool. It's so nice to meet you Thank both. You so and, much uh, for having Jonathan us. and I have coached soccer together, yeah. so, uh, you know. <laughs> Legendary soccer team. Keep those kids in line. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you so much. You.